What's up, Fit Body Nation? So it is Monday. We are back here ready to rock and roll. If you join me Saturday for the 90 minute, 1000 calorie burning workout, I appreciate you uh, hanging in there with me. That was definitely a tough one. So today I figured since we had such a brutal weekend that we could tone it down a little bit today. We're gonna do about a 20 minute workout, HIIT style workout, HIIT style exercises, but it's not gonna be so crazy insane that you can't keep up with it. So if you're brand new, um, just hang in there, pace yourself, modify what you need to. If you've been hanging with me for the last 200 and almost 40 workouts that we've done, then yeah, you're gonna love this one. Okay, so it's a little bit colder out here today. That's why I got the hoodie on, I got the sweatpants on. Um, I came out in shorts and a tank top and I was, I was quite surprised. I thought it was like 80 something degrees. It's still supposed to be in the 70s, so I'm kind of being a wuss, but right now it's in the 50s. So let's do this. We're gonna start with a warm up. It's gonna be about three minutes, okay? Nothing crazy. All right, so with our warm up, let's take it into a high knee. Um, actually, we'll call it more of a lower knee, okay? But I want you to pick your feet off the ground, just enough to get the muscles loosened up. I'm definitely sore from Saturday's workout, big time sore. So we're just gonna ease into this warm up today, all right? So now what I want you to do is you're gonna twist side to side, and you're actually keeping your core tight, but you're getting a good rotation and keeping your hips forward. There we go, excellent. Now let's take it into jumping jacks. Good. So with this one today, we've got about uh, 10 exercises, and we're going to be spending 30 seconds a piece on each exercise. We'll transition from one exercise to the next, so it will be fast, but we'll take a minute to rest at the end of the round, and then we'll go back through a second round, okay? So it's really not all that bad. Now, let's go ahead and drop it down. We're going to go into some mountain climbers. Good. So left, right, left, right. Switching your feet. Here we go, keep it up on this. Now, as we get into the mountain climbers here, I want you to make your movements a little bit bigger. Perfect. And up to your feet, we've got a minute, 40 seconds left. So let's take it into a side lunge, hold it down. Good, back up to center, there we go. Excellent, drop it down and back to center. Now, let's take it into some squats. We're gonna loosen up the legs, plus this helps really get the heart rate up at the same time. And now, I know a lot of you are new to the channel um, with the workout, so remember, anything can be paused, so if you gotta stop and rest, feel free to stop and rest by pausing the workout. If you need to modify something, then modify it, all right? But besides that, try to hang in there as much as you can. The workouts are definitely extremely challenging okay good so they're not for everybody I know they're not but if you want a good challenge you want a hard workout something that you can build up into that's not ever gonna get easier then it's a great place for you all right we're gonna wrap it back up with our high knees I want you to really crank your arms into it now there we go so a little bit faster than when we started the warm-up here good we got 28 seconds or so we're not gonna use all those seconds but for about 10, I want you to really dig deep. Go faster, bring the knees up, crank them into it. Come on, put your arms into it. Faster, more power. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Five seconds, three, two, one. Relax, okay, uh, eight seconds or so. So we're gonna call this one, I don't know, Enduro. I think I've already used that name, so I'll find another one. But we're gonna be starting with our basic jumping jacks. Some of the exercises, I may mix it up a little bit. Depends if I get bored with them or not. For the most part, they are straightforward, non-complicated, still challenging, but non-complicated exercises. So after our jumping jacks, we'll do a reverse lunge. We're gonna do an inchworm today, uh, which is where you kind of walk your body out full length, really work the abs. After that, we got high knees, we got mountain climbers, um, squat thrust, we've got side lunges, and then we've got kneeling push-ups on your knees. Okay, so pretty basic, a good one for a lot of you to start with as well that are new. Um, so really, make sure you got a yoga mat. Make sure you've got something to drink during the workout. 
and that's it. You don't need to wait, no dumbbells, nothing. We got eight seconds. Starting jumping jacks in four, three, two, one. Here we go, 30 seconds. Now, like I said, there's not rest in between the exercises. So we're gonna need to transition as fast as we can. This is what gets a lot of people, the moving from one exercise to the next, okay? It may take you 25 seconds to get to the next exercise. That's fine, because in a couple weeks, it won't take you that long. So, go as quick as you can. From this, we're going straight into a reverse lunge. So pretty basic switch off right here. And stepping back. So a reverse lunge, you really want to bring your foot as far back as you can. Excellent. Keep this knee behind that toe. All right, I know you've heard it a hundred times before. It's common knowledge at this point. Good, step back nice and far. Excellent, 10 seconds. From this one, we're gonna be dropping down into an inchworm. So, I will show you that one in three, two, one. Okay, so go ahead, hands down to the ground, keeping your legs straight. You're gonna walk your hands out as far as you can. Good, and then walk them back. Bring them back in. You ideally wanna to try to touch your toes you may not be able to, that's fine. Perfect, walk it out, then bring it back in. Got about 10 seconds left. From this one, we're gonna take it into high knees. Good, that's it, three seconds. And let's take it into high knees, perfect. All right, it's starting to warm up out here, so hopefully the hoodie doesn't last much longer. Not sure. All right, so now let's pick our pace up a little bit with the high knees. We're already moving through this workout pretty quickly. So right when we get warmed up, it's gonna be over. So let's really dig into it. After we finish the high knees, we're going to mountain climbers. They're coming up next. Three seconds. And drop it down. Mountain climbers, here we go. So move your feet quickly on this one. Switch left, right, left, right. We're gonna be staying in this down position. So you don't have to worry about standing up. We're gonna still be in this position for the next exercise, which is gonna be a squat thrust. Good. You got it, keep it up, keep moving. Eight seconds. Good, come on, we got it. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, so squat thrust, feet in, feet out. Good. Come on, you can do this. After this one, we'll be standing back up, going into a side lunge, which really gives you a chance to catch your breath. Perfect, that's it. Just gotta drive through on this one, don't stop. Come on, got about 10 seconds. That's it, eight seconds. Keep working, three, two, one. Up to your feet. Okay, side lunge now. Cool thing is, after we do our side lunges, we've got push-ups on your knees. They're kneeling push-ups, that way, you can go a little bit faster at them, get a little bit lower with them. Now, if you need to modify a kneeling push-up, if that one's still too difficult for you, do the push-up against the wall or a table, something at a higher level. That way it's a little bit less resistance for you. All right, here we go, some kneeling push-ups. I don't care what level of fitness you're on, you may be able to do a one-arm clapping push-up behind your back. Totally fine, I can do it too. But today, kneeling push-ups, so drop it down. Suck up the ego, we're going for results here. There we go, keep moving, 10 seconds. Almost through it, five seconds. Come on, three, two, one, and relax. So, catch your breath, get some water, hoodie's coming off now. A little bit warmer, so that was the first round. Like I said, super fast, especially with no rest, no transitions in there. Goes by pretty quick. The next one, we're gonna be adding an exercise in to the very end. It's actually an exercise that we skipped on the last round because um, I wrote it on the side of a page instead of right underneath the rest of the exercises. So we're gonna be throwing that in there, okay? Um, but no worries. Now this round, this is our last round, like I said. Quick, simple, so you're loosened up now. The blood is flowing. You're not gonna pull anything. You know the exercises, you saw them. So in 14 seconds, 
we're going to dig deep and we're going to go fast and hard for this last round. Because when we come back on Tuesday tomorrow, we're going to be going back to our regular, regular workouts. You know what I mean? All right. Here we go. Jumping jacks. Okay. So on this, I want big movements, fast movements. Really kick the feet out. Keep the arms out. There you go. The more exaggerated you are with your arms and your hands, or your arms and hands, your arms and your feet, like big movements like this, you get a very high calorie burn. All right, I'm shortening it up a little bit, bending my arms. Good. From this, we're going straight into a reverse lunge. There we go. Good. And reverse lunge. Stepping back. There you go. Alternate your feet on this. Kick it back as far as you can. This will really tone up those glutes as well. Good. That's it. Whoo! Don't stop. Keep working. We've got 15 seconds. Come on, you can do it. I know you can. We got 10 seconds and counting. Almost through this one. Good. We got five more seconds. Here we go. Two, one, and here we go. Inchworms. So, walk it back, touch your toes, walk it back out. Good. Another one fun to do on this one, instead of going all the way back, do a pipe push up right there. Then go all the way back, touch your toes. We'll do those later in the week, so. You don't have to get all crazy with it right now. Just a regular inchworm. Good. Come on. Here we go. Seven seconds left on this, and we're taking it into high knees. You can do it. It's a fast workout. Here we go. All right, high knees. So this one, really drive into it. Crank your arms into it. Pump them just like you were sprinting full speed. Okay? Keep your abs tight. Keep your shoulders back, chest up. Here we go, and keep breathing. Control that breathing. You can do this. Come on. We're almost there. A few seconds left. You got nine seconds. Perfect. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Good. Three, two, one. Here we go, mountain climbers. All right. Big switches on this one. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Here we go. All right. We're getting close to the end of the workout now. Keep your pace up. Don't slow down. Don't stop. For sure, don't stop. 15 seconds. Remember, we'll be staying in this position, going straight into a squat thrust. Good. Eight seconds left on the mountain climbers. Keep that pace up. Two, one. Here we go. Perfect. Feet in, feet out, feet in, feet out. Good. Body long and straight when you land with your feet out. Bring them back in. Nice tuck. It's great cardio, great for the abdominals. Good. This is what it takes right here. Let's get some results. Make it happen. Perfect. Nine seconds. Almost there. We've got our side lunges coming up next. Three, two, one. Side lunges. Let's kick straight into it. Down, back to center, over the side, back to center. Phenomenal. Keep on working. That's it. We're getting close, getting into our holiday season now. I'm leaving the pumpkins out. I used them for our pumpkin workout on, on Saturday. Huh. But I like them, they make good decoration. So I'm gonna leave them here until they've started to rot. And then I'll throw them away. Okay, so kneeling push-ups. Now, on your knees, like I said, no matter what fitness level you're at, from this one, we're gonna go into a front plank. On your forearms, and since we skipped the last one, we're gonna hold it for a minute. Once that minute's up, the workout's over, okay? Keep pushing, high reps. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Putting the weight into the palm of your hands. Four seconds, two, one. Lock it out, front plank on your forearms. Okay, now if you have to, if you're starting out, do these on your knees. You can place your knees down, extend your body out so your hip is straight, and you can do these. Now your goal, and what you always want to think, is try to keep your head higher than where your butt is. That way you have better form, your abs get more out of it. And try to slow your breathing down when you're here. It'll allow you to keep this hold a lot longer. All right, last 30 seconds. This is it right here and we're done. For today, here we go. A nice recovery day after a, our, our weekend. Good. And next weekend, if you haven't done it yet, which I know some of you have, and I'm super proud of you, 
All right, we've got our 5K coming up. And if you took pictures of the 5K, if you already did it, send them to me because I want to put them on a video. All right, two, one, and relax. All right, Fit Body Nation, that's it. That's, that nails it right there for today. So like I said, it's quick. It was not simple because it was still fast paced, but it allows us to recover from the 1,000 calorie burner that we did. And if you didn't do it, I'll put a link below um, in the comment section so you can go back and do it if you, if you choose to. It's definitely, it's definitely brutal. I'll give you that. All right, the Body Nation will be back here tomorrow, Tuesday. Prepare yourself. It's going to be an awesome week. We've got our 5K coming up. Like I said, if you already did it and you took pictures, send some of those pictures to me. Um, I guess I'll put it in my email or something on the comments. Who knows, okay? But send those pictures to me. That way I can post them up in the highlight video um, after we all do the 5K next week as well. All right? Love you guys. Please subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.